My 26M GF24F told me she is pregnant but I am sterile. Backstory, I got into an accident after my college and will never be able to have kids. None of my family members know of this. They know about the accident but not about this. I have always wanted to be child free so it did not affect me much mentally. I have finished my master's degree last year and never dated before. I got a very high paying job directly through campus placements. My parents immediately wanted me to get married after getting a job but I wanted to work on myself and explore a bit. They said no and I said that it was my wish. All my life I did what they wanted and for the first time when I talked against them, they were not happy. This was last year and they gave up after COVID started. So I picked up some dating apps and went through them but no luck. Then my parents introduced me to a family friend's daughter and we clicked kinda. Looking back, I was a fool. She said yes to anything I said and never complained about anything. I felt kinda weird about it. I wanted her to express her interests but she always said she was interested in whatever I do. Well, I did not think much about it. I said that I won't have kids ever and she surprisingly said okay. I was like damn, she is probably the one as it is very hard to find a partner who is child free in my country or ATL East I thought, but we were in the initial stages and I have not told about my accident. Long story short, we had s time a month ago, I used scenedoms because safety first. The next day on, she started ghosting me a bit. I thought it was due to my performance in bed and wanted to give her some space. Then she texted infrequently and only replied okays and k's and one line answers. I thought maybe she wanted to end the relation and was sad but left it at that. Yesterday, all her family came to my house and she claims she's pregnant and the father is me. Needless to say, I freaked the duck out and wanted to collapse on the ground. I did not say anything while they were talking about marriage and stuff that needs to happen because I got her pregnant. Please advise me on what steps to take now Reddit. Update. Let me start off by saying I'm very very grateful for all the redditors who took their time to read and give me advice. I was overwhelmed by the amount of comments and how many of you said it might not even be my kid. Looking at it from a different perspective gave me much more insight on the whole situation. I called my boss and took today off. I called up some clinics to get tested and was given a slot on Friday afternoon. Then I went to the store and bought some pregnancy tests and asked only her to come to my place tomorrow i.e. today morning. I also called my parents and my before I said anything, my mom asked me if I had any good news, I was shocked by what she said and asked me what exactly she was talking about. She then played dumb and I knew that the situation was more duck that I thought. I cut the call and cried all night till 3 am, grown ass man crying for the first time since 8th class. She came today morning with her parents even after I told her to come alone. They were under the impression that I was gonna discuss engagement plans with them. I told them to wait outside and called her in and they threw a fit. I told they can all go back or let her alone come in, they said okay. I took out the pregnancy tests and gave it to her and told her to prove that she was actually pregnant and told her where the bathroom was. She started screaming at me never done this before, I was shocked at this. Then she went out the door and called her parents in. Now everyone is screaming at me in my own home because I asked her to prove the pregnancy not even a DNA test. I told them all to duck off and one hour later my parents and they all came to my home and they spilled the beans. She was never actually pregnant as many redditors said, my parents were afraid that I was getting old for marriage and wanted me to marry and give them grandchildren. They said that in arranged marriages, no need for the people to actually get to know the spouse because parents choose only the best for their kids. They planned this all and were only waiting for me to have s time with her to do this. I broke down and cried again. All my life, I did exactly what my parents wanted, always scored high and never asked for anything. I told them to get out and never talk to me again in between crying and they said parents know what's best for their kids and I should do what they say. Then I got extremely angry and told them to duck themselves in my native language which was very bad. For once, I think they knew I was serious with them and they all left. I blocked them all before sending my parents a message to never again contact me in my life even if one of you is dying. Cried for some more time, went through some dog videos and went through all my messages on Reddit and I feel like I owe you guys this update because it was you guys who helped me do this. 
That is all and I hope you have a wonderful day. I want to thank you all for taking your time and reaching out and giving advice. The last few days, I feel like a burden was lifted off me, especially for my parents who always expect many things from me. The first day after the confrontation was a asset show. My parents at first relatives to reach out to me asking me to see Reason Lamau, I declined. They stopped after two days after a harsh message from me requesting no contact. I also took appointments for family planning vasectomy which is next month. Some people asked if I would ever tell my family about this, but I will not. My body, my business. I will of course tell potential future dates that I am child-free and also had a vasectomy beforehand. Redditor's Reactions Redditor 1, this is so abusive, manipulative, and devastating. I'm happy for you that you did the smart thing and were able to stick up for yourself to your family especially in a culture that makes that so hard. It's time to start living your life, no contact with toxic family. Redditor 2, damn, so your parents really tried to trap you into an arranged marriage under the guise of a real relationship? That's ducking devastating dude. But you're doing the right thing by cutting them off if they're going to misguide you like that. I'm so sorry. But things will get better, especially after your vasectomy and you never have to worry about a pregnancy scare again. Best of luck to you. Redditor 3, pa re nts knl what is bst for th air ch yield drn. Half of the problems in the world would disappear overnight if parents would mind their ducking business and not barge in into their kid lives, I ducking swear. Dude, I am proud of you cutting them all from your life. I even envy you a little. With time, you will appreciate that liberating feeling more and more, and I am sure, it will pave your way to success in life without anyone dragging you down to fulfill their ambitions at your expense. Good luck. Redditor 4, good update, but why are you getting a vasectomy if you're already sterile? Redditor 5, holy s it man. Just read your previous post. Stay strong. I was also born in India and obviously have Indian parents. I too do no want children, which is very weird in our culture. But duck culture, it's my choice. I married a non-Indian girl from New Zealand so parents didn't want to agree to that too. I just had to make a stand and marry who I wanted. It's been 7 years since we got married. Other than my mum everyone is cool with it. My mum still doesn't talk to my wife. I have good relationship with my mum though. And we have just agreed to move on with them two not talking to each other. I used to care a lot about what others think and everyone's happiness and then realized that no one was happy. So I decided to make sure that I am happy and my wife is happy and everyone else can worry about their own happiness. It was difficult for like 6 months and then everyone feel into line. Your parents seem even worse than mine. LOL. Just remember, it's okay to move away from family if they are toxic. Just because they gave you birth doesn't mean you owe your life to them. I know it's not Indian way of thinking but you gotta move on with times and live your life your way. Good luck and it's okay to cry as a grown man. It's another Indian thing that grown men don't cry. Duck that. Crying can make you feel better and it's good for your mental health. Don't buy into that macho BLLS it. Feel free to message me if I can help in any way.